Hey guys, this is Pastor Scott, and I'm just testing out my tripod setup for potential future reviews, so I'm just trying some things out here. I don't know. Um, I could break out my big tripod, but perhaps I'm on the road, and I want to uh, go live easily. I have this little mini tripod Hold on, let me just share to a few groups. It's a little bit wobbly, so I have to be really careful. So let me swipe this down. Um, so yeah, this is a little tripod here. It's uh, handheld, and it's really easy to just pull out. But say I wanted to do a Bible review or a book review or something, and I'm out on the mission field, and I don't have the opportunity to set up the... Uh, regular try. I really have to be careful. This is, let's just try the angle here. Let's turn it up a little bit. It is very touchy. <laughs> or let's see, how else could we do this? Maybe I could flip it around the other way. But yeah, this is really, whoa, <laughs> very, very touchy that it might fall over. Let's say I was out on the road and I wanted to do a review of something, I guess we try the angle that way. I can always flip it around and try the other camera angle, but it doesn't quite, I don't think the, it has a swivel enough, but say I wanted to review something or show you guys on something like on print, I'm just testing the angle here. But this is the book that we're getting into in our class here at Kairos University. Um, let's see. Oh, you can't really see. I guess it's, is it? Oh, course one, online study plan for a theological methodology. Uh, this is the theolo, theolo <laughs> that's a tough one. Theologizing in the radical middle. And uh, yeah, the book I will show you guys here. Here's the uh, class. list and here's the book that they're having us go through Theolo theologizing in the radical middle middle that's a tongue twister right there by ryan h chang forward by keith park uh his argument here is uh that there are some people that might stand on different sides of the theological spectrum as far as sensationism uh or sensationists would say that the word of god uh, stopped, uh, that the canon of scripture, once it was closed and sealed, that prophecies and healing and such uh, don't happen anymore. And then on the other side of the spectrum, you have the charismatics and some Pentecostals that get overly spiritual, uh, spiritualizing things. And uh, he has a, a, a method, a theological uh, agreement that argues that we should pull the two together and hold them equally together with tension on the one side and the other and to not uh, pick a side per se. And uh, I, I like that view. And uh, he's leading us through, I believe, this entire book, uh, chapter by chapter in each session. Uh, we're doing it online right now, so we can't have our regular classes. So I'm also required to read through this entire book. Um, and here, I'll just read what it says here a little bit here at the, uh, at the back here. This book doesn't endorse any systematic theology. Rather, it's about how we theologize. Why do two equally trained theologians studying the same book and loving the same Lord arrive at such different conclusions? This theological disagreement at times becoming personal spills over from the academia to seminaries and churches. And if history is an indicator, this always weakens the unity of the church. Who needs unity when correct doctrines are at stake, right? But is the defense of all doctrines worth foregoing the unity of the church despite Jesus' prayer that they may be one even as we are one? At the bottom, our theological contentiousness stems from not recognizing that the biblical revelation was framed 
uh, the biblical revelation is framed is not designed to be handled in the way seminaries typically do. Regardless, we strive for the rightness of our tidy theologi- theology, even disowning those who disagree while doing so. The, the, the disembowel of continuationists by the strange fire crowd is the most recent instance in a long line of placing doctrinal purity over its unity of the body. This book uncovers how scripture is really structured and how, therefore, we need to theologize differently so that we may grow spiritually in word and in spirit. So there we go. That's the book we're going through right now. I just wanted to try this set up. It, like I said, it is a little, if I just touch it, barely, this thing is about to tip. So I don't know... Uh, maybe if I have, would have to bring it down a little bit, it's still, the angle is weird. I don't know. I'm trying to try this little, this little tripod out for uh, review purposes. But then you see it in the camera, which is kind of cool because it looks neat. Um, but then if I just accidentally touch it, this thing is about to go over. So I don't know. I'm just toying around with things, kind of uh, quarantine craziness. Anyway, love you guys. God bless you. Take care. If you need anything at all, give us a call at 1-855-70-JESUS or log onto our website at oneaccordcrusades.com.